Emperor Ashoka. Ashoka was the son of Emperor Bindusara of the Mauryan dynasty. He was a Chakravartian and ruled over a huge realm of land. He was known for waging one of the most destructive wars in the world against Kalinga. After the war, he had a change of heart, embraced Buddhism and propagated non-violence and peace. He focused on bringing peace and prosperity to his people. The Ashoka pillar at Sarnath stands tall as a witness to the greatness of his emperor. The lion capital at Sarnath is India's national emblem, while the Ashoka Chakra is at the center of India's flag. When Prince Ashoka's father, Emperor Bindusara died, there was a fight for the throne. Ashoka killed all of his father's sons and became the king. Sumana Devi was one of the wife of Ashoka's brothers. She was pregnant when Ashoka killed her husband. Fearing for her life, she ran away into the forest and gave birth to a boy, Nirgoda Kumar. Nirgoda Kumar became a monk at a early age. Ashoka's wife was a Buddhist and wanted her husband to stop killing and give up violence completely. After the war, Kalinga, where thousands perished, she left him to join the Sangha of Buddha. One day, through his window, Ashoka saw a young Buddhist monk passing. The monk looked familiar and Ashoka asked him to be brought to him. The young monk told that his name was Nirgoda Kumar. Ashoka realized that this was his own nephew, his brother's son. A shaken Ashoka asked the young boy if he hated him because he killed his father. The young monk replied that Buddha's teachings taught him that hatred was a destructive emotion while love and forgiveness were supreme. So he loved everyone irrespective of those who were or what they had done. The Buddhist monk's answer was an eye-opener for Ashoka. The battle of Kalinga haunted him and robbed him of his peace. He asked the monk if he could guide him into the fold of Buddha. The monk uttered the initiation words, Buddham Shiranam Gachami, Sangam Shiranam Gachami, Dharmam Shiranam Gachami. Ashoka repeated the words. He took refuge into Buddha's teachings and turned into Buddhism. From monk we can learn that hatred is a destructive emotion. Forgiveness is an attribute of the strong. Forgiving someone helps one to get out of the cycle of hatred and focus on the positive thinkings in life. It is like antidote to the poison of hatred. The realization of one's mistakes and repentance are equal important. Ashoka realized that grave sin he had committed by causing such mass destruction and genuinely repented for it not just by embracing non-violence and peace himself but also propagating it and ensuring the welfare of the people thank you for more please subscribe our channel